day. I thought there were some really good things. You know, just thinking back to two years ago, being on the same field, I think we've come a long ways as you look around at, at, at our players, the way they look and how they run. And so I think it's a heck of credit, obviously, to us just a coach of recruiting, but a lot to our strength staff. I think that our guys look, look really good. Obviously, we have some depth concerns in a number of spots. And uh, as far as, you know, the MVP of the day probably was George Farmer. Really, you know, to see him healthy out here and the way that he caught the ball today and his confidence is, is very different than the last time we were with him. So, obviously, that was great to see. Well, it doesn't change the way you prepare, but just not having that dark cloud hanging over you guys anymore, knowing that these guys are preparing for something bigger than they've been able to play for in the last two years. I think it's refreshing, really, to our fans, you know, to our players, but it doesn't change anything that we do. You know, we don't prepare any different and coach our players any different or get ready for our opponents any different. You know, it'll be the same thing that we've been doing. Would you say it was a different feeling this year, the song of the last year? get a good feeling seem representative of how the players are feeling today. Well, I don't know that that's necessarily the, the bold thing. I think that's just in general. I think they feel good about themselves. They feel confident because they came off of ending the season very well. And a number of the returners were significant players, you know, some All-Americans. So uh, that, that's very different from the year before, you know, or especially the two years before that. So I just think in general they have a good feeling about themselves. They feel good about themselves. What's the uh, what's a fear strategy? Yeah, he's completely different. I mean, if you, you know, if you were to watch just when we go from stretch drills down to the off the line drills, you're he's always the last guy. And I looked for him today to be last, and he was the first guy down there actually. So when you lose 60 pounds, you move a little bit better too. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> what are, how are you going to divide the reps up with the other quarterbacks? Yeah, right now it's going to be we're going to split it right down the middle and um, see how that goes. If that may be for a long time, maybe for a little time, I'm just going to see. Uh, how it works out, we're going to give him a chance here initially. He looks healthy, he looks strong, he's going after the ball, and I think that just comes from, you know, his confidence. A lot of times, like we talked about last year, that's the norm with all players, even with the five-star players. You know, the norm is not Marquise Lee and Robert Woods. You know, those are those are rare you know, situations. We talk about every year there's about five significant impact true freshmen around the country. And so normally they take a little bit of time to adjust to what did you think of uh, I thought you know it's pretty easy for me. Obviously, you know, you can't install a million plays in day one with that other kid. So um, that was fine. It just looks like where he left off. And it was not very challenging right now. I mean, it's a little bit boring. But what was good, you didn't see him force a million balls. You know, I thought at the beginning of the last fall camp, he got a little bored. A few of those practices we talked about, he had some interceptions. So uh, it was good to see he did 